I don't want to jinx it, but I think it's safe to say that we officially have Fridays off, which is amazing. Somehow our professor was able to move the only course that we had on Friday to Thursday. And now we have Fridays off, even though that means that on Thursday we spend 10 hours at uni honestly i think it's worth it for having friday off because this friday was the first friday that we had off and this three-day weekend basically was so good for me like i just stayed at home and relaxed watch youtube did a little bit of homework um i watched so many movies i watched interstellar and clueless which were both so good two very different movies but they were both so good like for interstellar i cried so much it was i don't have words definitely one of the best movies i've seen and i don't know why i thought it is an older film but it only came out in 2014 i mean it is eight years old but i don't know i just thought it's older but yeah a really good movie and then i watched clueless which was also really good like such a like nice feel good i wanted to say 2000s but it's not a 2000s it's a 90s movie but yeah really really nice and i just have a feeling that these three day weekends are going to be so good for me and it's also perfect because on this thursday there is going to be like a freshman party if you will in a club here in town but you know all years can go so a few of my classmates and i we decided to go as well because last year when we were freshmen Freshman, there was no party because uni was online but yeah i know all years can go so we decided to go this year and it's on a thursday which it's a bit odd but it works out because i have fridays off so that means that i can like sleep in and relax and everything on friday and i still have the weekend off which is perfect and yeah i don't know how much i'm going to like vlog at that party i mean it's just you know like a club and they're going to bring a guy to sing he's like a romanian rapper slash trapper I don't know, I don't, I don't listen, but uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to be fun, I don't know how much I'll vlog, but... So, I've been watching Sadie Aldis for years, honestly, I don't even know when I started watching her, maybe in 2017 or 18, I don't know, and last year she took a break from YouTube, and I was like, this is perfect, because around that time I was actually thinking of unsubscribing from her myself, because I don't know, I just didn't really vibe with her videos anymore, like I didn't enjoy them that much, so when she was saying that she took a break i was like perfect so i unsubscribed from her and a month ago or something i was on youtube and her videos popped up on my feed again and it looks like she's back on youtube so you know i wanted to see what she's been doing and i just watched all of her videos from when she came back on youtube and she just started university she's my age but she took two gap years so she started university this year and yeah i just watched all of her videos after her break and i just caught up with them right now and i I think i'm going to subscribe again because now i'm vibing with her again and i really want to see her university journey so um let me subscribe to her i don't know dear just how far we'll go but i hope here is where i
I did these nails and now looking at them, I don't really like them. I think they look kind of bad. I tried to do like an ombre transition with a sponge, with a makeup sponge, and I just tapped it like that on my nails. I used to do this all the time when I was younger and I remember them turning out better than they did now, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't really like them. They kind of look a bit scary, like this would have been better for Halloween or something. But I think the problem is the two colors that I choose because they don't match that well, so like it's hard to, you know, make a transition between them. But like these were like the only colors that I had, but I do have a blue and a turquoise and I feel like those would look much better, like the transition would be more seamless so maybe you know i'll try those colors next and i feel like those would turn out better but yeah i know these are my nails for now not the best but um we're gonna try again so it's thursday and right now i'm getting ready for the freshman party and i put on foundation for the first time in more than a year like i actually don't know the last time when i used foundation but i decided to do it tonight and i actually kind of like how my skin looks i feel like this shade is a tiny bit darker than my shade but it's fine and i use the maybelline affinitone foundation in shade 09 opal rose that's the shade and i have this concealer palette from elf and i use this brown shade right here to contour a little bit and i think it looks fine but i think i'm going to put some uh, like proper bronzer on top of it as well i curled my hair last night i'm not 100 percent satisfied with it but whatever and i think i'm going to recurl some pieces as well as far as what i'm going to wear <laughs> i look so funny with this i'm going to wear some faux leather pants from my mom that are still like a bit um wet because i washed them yesterday so hopefully they're gonna get dry by the time i leave and also this shirt which is my mom's as well this shirt is probably as old as me if not maybe even older like it's a, a really old shirt but uh, yeah it's really cute it has this like red sparkles and like a little turtleneck and i think i'm going to wear some like boots with a little bit of a heel on my own and yeah just um like a really thick jacket because it's really cold it's gotten cold officially Yes, please correct. 